This tutorial is an introduction to SlideRocket, which is a cloud-based presentation program. If you're familiar with things like PowerPoint, this is very similar because it has all of the slides. You can put in text, videos, pictures, things like that, but it is a little bit more synchronous whenever you're able to add in all of those pieces of multimedia. And in addition to that, because it is cloud-based, you can access it anywhere you are, regardless of what computer you're on or where you are. So the thing that we are going to do first is create an account. I'm going to click Sign Up. I want Slide Rocket Lite. This is the free version of Slide Rocket and I won't have to worry about canceling the trial or anything like that. So I am just going to set this up. All you need is an email address. And I'm going to click log in. Again, I just have to put in my email address and my password. You see right now it's loading. You may need to update your flash drivers if it doesn't start right up. Whenever this little tutorial comes up, I would strongly recommend that you watch it. It takes about five minutes but it is really going to go in depth and show you some really really cool things. I've already seen this so I'm just going to close it and I'm going to start a new presentation by clicking where it says new. Now remember this is the presentation that I'm making based on the concept map that I made last week. My concept map was titled Web 2.0 Tools so I'm going to highlight and put that in right there and I can choose from any of these themes that are already created or I could create my own if I want. I'm going to go with this one here so I'm just going to click on it and then hit OK. Right here it says double click to enter title. I'm sure that you have seen this before on PowerPoint, but you'll just double click and this is where you'll enter in your title. Mine was called Web 2.0 Tools. And right down here, I'm going to put my name. Okay. Now over here at the side is where I'm going to get a new slide. Remember, I'm using my map as my outline for this presentation. And one of the next major nodes that was on my map was blogs. Okay, so I type in blogs right here. And then the information I had on my minor nodes would go right here. Mine was blogmeister. I also had blogger in there. Now it would make sense for me to link these to the blogmeister and the blogger site. So to do that I would highlight this and then I would go up here to tools, click hyperlink. I can go to a new slide or I can go to a new URL. I always like for my things to open in a new window because that way it will not take away from my presentation and then just hit OK. So now you see this is a hyperlink. That blue color really really clashes with the background that I've got on so I'm just gonna highlight it again and then over here at the side you see where I've got all of these different formatting tools. Right here this will change my text color and let's say 
Oh, a nice gray would look better. I, I'm still not sure that I'm crazy about that color, but I could change it if I wanted to. Now, in my presentation or in my concept map that I had made, remember I used those visuals to help explain my tools. So I can go over here to picture. And if I look up here, it's going to go to Flickr or YouTube. If you're not familiar with Flickr, it is basically just a library of images that are stored online. And because people sign an agreement whenever they post to Flickr, you can use them in your presentations. So let's just say that I want to go into Flickr. And on the blogs, remember I had that that picture of the journal. So let's type in journal and see what I've got. I just typed in journal and then I hit the enter return button. Oh, this one's cute. I'm going to go with that one. So then down here at the bottom, let me make my screen just a little bit smaller so you can see it. It says add media. I'm going to click on that and it's just automatically going to import that into my screen here. I didn't have to do anything other than double click on it. And now I'm just going to resize it by grabbing the edges and make it a little topsy turvy there. Okay. Now this looks a little bit better. It's not all text based. But what we're going to do is put in a little bit more information about the blogs. I'm going to go up here. And you remember that my node said the reason why you should use blogs. It had all of the things like peer tutoring, reflection, things like that. I'm hitting the tab button to go over. And let's, I just want that to go over here. Okay. And I would later go back and hyperlink the blogger as well. Okay, so my slide is starting to look a little bit more dynamic here. You know what, before I go any further, I better save this. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to hit Save. and it is showing me right here the title of my slide. It probably saved this as presentation one because I didn't rename it whenever I started, but it is saved, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to add a new slide. Remember, I had peer tutoring and reflection, so I'm going to type here peer tutoring. I can put in some text about, whoops, let me double click on that, put in some text about the benefits of peer tutoring, okay? So I know from the research that I did that students learn differently when they learn from each other. And I'm going to continue to put in the information that I found right there. But you know what I want to do? I want to put in a YouTube video that really shows some peer tutoring. So I'm going to click where it says video. Right up here next to where we clicked Flickr earlier, it says YouTube. And I would copy and paste in the YouTube video that I want to add to my slide. I actually do not have that on my clipboard right now. I can go onto YouTube and I can find it, but that is how you would do it. And whenever it's going to import exactly the same way that the picture did for slot for the last slide. It's just going to import it right in. Now I've got this one all set up the way I want it to be. I'm going to go back to 
my blogs slide and I'm going to highlight peer tutoring. I have to double click on it then highlight. And I'm going to go to tools, hyperlink, and I want it to jump to a slide. I can say next slide right over here. This is probably the better way to do it. Click where it says slide down at the bottom and then you can choose the one you want. I want it to go to peer tutoring. So I'm going to click, and I'm going to click OK. Again, not crazy about that color blue. I can go back and fix that later. I'll continue to add my reflection slide. I'm going to put in all of those major and minor nodes like I have done for my concept map. So basically, my presentation is planned out in that outline form. Now I am just building it so that I've got a great visual whenever I use this with my students. Again, I'm going to go to File and hit Save. Now, I want to just preview this, make sure everything's looking great. This is after I've got in all of my slides. You're going to have several because you had so many major and minor nodes. I'm just going to go down here. First, I clicked on the first slide and I'm going to hit Preview. I'm going to have to actually click through this. It automatically put that transition in there. Okay, now if I hit this next button, it is going to go to the peer tutoring. But it's hyperlinked here, so I can go there. I can also go to the Blogmeister. There it is. And if I click where it says peer tutoring, it's going to pull up that slide. I'm going to go down here to close preview. Whenever I've got all of my slides laid out and I'm ready to publish it, I'm going to come over here to where it says advanced to next slide and I'm going to choose. Do I want it to play automatically or do I want to be in control of when each slide is shown? If I want to be in control of when each slide is shown, I'm going to choose on click. If I want it to play automatically, I'm going to choose after however many seconds. You can be the judge of how long each one needs to go, or it could be when the audio or video is finished. So, for example, if you put in that YouTube video, it would be whenever that's finished. Whenever I'm totally done, everything's done, I've saved it, I'm going to go to Share, Publish, I'm going to say I want my public link. See, publish is already up here. And here's my URL. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to put this on my Weebly site. Whenever I just click copy that, it automatically put it on my clipboard. I'm going to hit close. And now I can go to my Weebly site, type in slide rocket presentation and hyperlink it very similarly to how I put in my concept map last week.